And here we have our first long throw of the evening. Now this long throw taker, he's got all the ability in the world to be a star. And you can tell that he wants to be a star. He's battling the foliage but the players in front of him have not been arranged by the manager because the manager is not doing everything possible to win the game itself. So here we go. Absolutely nothing happens. Big surprise there. But now let's look at a different long throw taker. Now this long throw taker has the exact same ability. He's gone back into the foliage, but he has a manager that's aligned the players in front of him and told him where to deliver the ball. And here it is. What a wonderful throw. And the ball's going traveling wonderful oh what a flick what a taken a volley from well positioned players and what a finish absolutely brilliant it's brilliant it's brilliant Hey, what's up, guys? It is Zealand, and this video hopefully will change your life. It's definitely going to allow you to score more goals throughout the course of a season than you would before you watch this video. And that's just the type of life-changing experience that I try to create two times a week here. But we are doing something fun on Instagram, actually. Oh my god, Zealand's an Instagram model. Uh, obviously. I am, but we're gonna have a nice fun competition on this Instagram that I've now unprivated. So we're very public. I was going to make a video about how to sell players for the most money possible. And I figured we could have some fun with this. I spend so much time appraising what you are doing. You now get to appraise what I'm doing. You go to the Instagram link in the description. The newest post is going to be five different players from my Bate save that I'm going to go in and sell for the most money that I possibly can. You'll go into the comments and try and guess how much money I sold them for. The person who gets the closest will be announced on stream on Monday, and I will have them participate in the making of the transfer negotiation video because clearly they know their stuff or they're really lucky. And either way, I want to get to know this person. Hopefully it's you. You'll actually get to be in a video on this channel. Huzzah. And if you're like, yo, oh, I get to the stream, it's down in the description too. And so is a bunch of fun stuff from the editor of this channel, Reese. He's now doing videos about what it's like to work for me. So you can win the competition and then figure out what it's like to put one of these videos together. Or you can just go hang out with Reese on his stuff and ask him. It's gonna be a fun competition, but now it's time to talk about long throws and going back to changing your life. In case you hadn't noticed, I recently won the streamer showdown. This may or may not make me the reigning world champion of football manager. Zealand Shannon, everybody. I won the streamer showdown after my worst ever showing in the league portion. And so I went in and made a bunch of changes, particularly to my set pieces, which I talk about in the last video that came out. The one set piece that I skipped because I've literally never talked about it before, not even figuratively, I've literally never talked about it before the last video, is the long throw. I changed my long throws. As you can see by my athletics in the intro, I've obviously improved a lot in my long throw taking. And uh, my health insurance is actually just really happy that I didn't try and do the flip throw. I did consider it, don't worry. Because it really turns out you don't need the freak long throw taker. I was using people with an 11 in the long throw attribute and this long throw routine that I put together was still very effective. I could make a serious argument the single biggest change I made from a seventh place finish in the streamer showdown league to a first place finish in the streamer showdown knockouts was my long throw routine. They had a higher threat percentage than deep free kicks did for me in the course of the tournament, which basically is just manufacturing more set piece opportunities for your team every single game. I mean, the, the number of expected goals that you gain from this is high. But I think you get that at this point. So it's time to go down to the corner. Reese, we haven't done one of these in a while. Ah, I gotta stretch. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, the long throw tactic that can change your life. It's not the only one, but it does the job. Drum roll, please. Yeah. 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 So this is the long throw tactic. Now I'm gonna walk you through who you should probably put at each of these positions in order to maximize the effectiveness of this tactic and I'll walk you through 
who should be taking the throw. Yeah, well, that, that's part. It's literally just what you said. Zealand makes sense, man. All right, so the first part of setting up these long throws is you go to your set piece takers and you've got your throw-ins section. This is, of course, behind my head. So we're going to remove my head. Seeing this long throws sections, I've had some people make the argument that you don't want to use center backs. I did for the whole tournament in the knockout stages, use Joe Gomez to take the long throws. Joe Gomez has a 14. I've used Andy Robertson and Musa Wage to take these throws as well. And I haven't noticed any deficiency at all. None of these players have the player trait long flat bullet throws, which even I thought you needed to have in order to have really threatening long throw routines. Other than that, I just kind of ignored it. Don't anymore. You don't need long flat bullet throws because Honestly, you've probably never opened the whole throw-in thing before. And now you open it, you can click on this guy and you just tell him to throw it long. Tell him to throw it long. You're tired of him giving that ball to the dingleberry, you know, on the near side of the feet. I really got to look that word up before I use it. I, I have no idea what it means, actually. A foolish or inept person, informal in the United States. That works. So you're just tired of throwing it to the Stingleberry over here and then he loses the ball and you give up a goal going the other direction. Just tell him to put it into the mixer. And now I'm going to tell you where to put your players in the mixer in order to maximize your effectiveness. I'm not talking about the streaming platform either. Hi, Ninja. Thinking about dyeing my hair blue. How's that sound? <sighs> Never. So you have three guys on the outside of the box. You've got two guys that are just going forward. You got somebody marking the keeper. You got somebody attacking the near post and you've got somebody lurking the near post. This is one of the newer discoveries I have about the match engine itself is that when you have somebody lurking on the near post, that tends to serve as a very good distraction to free up this near post move. So you want your best aerial presence attacking the near post with a shield of a distraction of a lurker here. You want a big Big physical presence or a hard-working brave guy like Arturo Vidal marking the keeper himself you want some of your most skilled goal scorers in the box like Isco not Francis Cocolon not him so we'll move him out and put Rodrigo in. Then you want somebody attacking from the edge of the area. Now, when you're doing other set pieces, there will be a spot here where there's a guy that's got an arrow coming into the box. This is the exact same thing. There's just no arrow because the game is broken. It's still a great game. It's just not, you know, there should be an arrow. Ignore that. And when you have that arrow spot, you want somebody who is a very good goal scorer that's perhaps not the best in the air. So Rodrigo is better in the air then Luis Suarez. But Suarez is still a great goal scorer. He's attacking from the edge of the area. Who do I have lurking around the edge of the box? Well, people that have skill with their feet to get the ball back in, maybe take a shot and score. And one of those might just be Kylian Mbappe, which is now how we end up where Francis Cocolon is where he is supposed to be, doing some random physical task. So in summary, so far, big lug, big lug, biggest lug, Pretty tall goal scorer, pretty tall goal scorer, shorter goal scorer, decent with feet, decent with feet. We clear? I only leave one guy back in this situation because the way the ball moves on a long throw compared to a corner. I also leave one guy back on corners, but I feel like that's more dangerous. You can end up with more velocitous counters off of corners with one guy back than on long throws because the ball's just not moving as fast. So it can't get rocketed out as far on a bad deflection. You're usually fine just having one guy back and getting as many people into the box as possible. Two lurking outside the area keeps you a little more safe. If you only want one lurking outside the area, I'll leave my best playmaker, Kylian Mbappe, out there and just throw Andy Robertson in there just to see if the ball falls to him. That's fine too, just a little more risky. And this really is it. You just set it up on this side, then you can save it. I saved mine and called it Iceland because obviously. Switch it over to the other side. You load up Iceland. Make sure all the players are in the right spots because sometimes they get shaked and baked around. Make sure you're okay with whoever your long throw taker is. If it's a fullback and winger in particular that they're all the way across on the other side of the field. Make sure you're okay with that or make a change if it really doesn't matter to you. And then you're all set up to start taking advantage of long throws in Football Manager. Uh, it's not a long throw hack. Uh, you're not taking advantage of the match engine. You are just getting the most 
out of a set piece that I and a lot of us criminally overlook. I'm on a crusade to save the long throw. Tony Pulis would be really happy of me. I think I said that joke right. I, I don't know who Tony Pulis is. I'm not even kidding. America's a weird place, man. That's all right. I'm sure for what I know about him, he would be proud of this long throw trick and I hopefully you were able to use it well. Make him proud of you too. Tweet at him, I don't know. I look forward to the competition on Instagram. I will see you guys over there and then on the stream on Monday to announce the winner and the person that I'm going to be making a video with. Maybe we, we can just be in the thumbnail together, arms around each other. Hey, what's up? Name Zealand. Who's gonna be here? I'll just have Reese edit some dude in here. Or do that. Actually, do you know dude is gender neutral? Very 21st century stuff going on. All right, Reese, I think we're I think we're done. See you soon. You know, Herrera. Oh, good throw. <laughs>